tonight, the forgotten strike that has plunged the training of teachers into crisis. Details are teacher trainings across 49 colleges of education demand closure of schools and annulment of the exams as strike by CTAG enters day 55. Since it's day 55 of the strike and there hasn't been any significant progress being made by either government or CTAG in calling off the strike. The students should not be the people to suffer from these consequences. The students should also be asked to go home. More as the National Labor Commission serves notice it has washed its hands of the demands of the striking teachers following their continuous defiance. In the same way, the commission has also become helpless because we have defied them. So having defied our orders, we are unable to pursue the case in court. So that is where we are. We'll hear from the principals of the colleges and Parliament Select Committee of Education on this developing story. Top story, as always, is brought to you by Telecell, connecting energies and holy insecticide spray and coil. Enjoy a holy sleep. My name is Samuel Kojo Brace. Now, it has become the forgotten strike, 55 days on and counting. But tonight, it has plunged the training of teachers across the country into crisis. Teacher trainees across the 46 colleges of education are demanding the immediate closure of the schools following the prolonged strike by their teachers. The Colleges of, of Education Teachers Association of Ghana, CTAC, boycotted the classrooms after the government reneged on its promise to implement outstanding compulsory arbitration awards. The strike has brought academic activities to a standstill and the teacher trainees are urgently seeking a resolution to the impasse. Speaking to John News, President of the Teacher Trainees Association of Ghana, Swale Razak, says they are asking for the semester to be cancelled since the calendar has already been disrupted. Demanding that the students will be asked to go home since it's day 55 of the strike and there hasn't been any significant progress being made by either government or CTAS in calling off the strike. The students should not be the people to suffer from these consequences. The students should also be asked to go home and ask them when the strike has been resolved and the colleges be in session again. Also, you are asking for some review of the current assessment. Why so? We are questioning that we cannot write examination or any form of assessment because uh, the strike, as you are all aware, has entered into the eighth week. We just barely resumed uh, the colleges on the 9th of August, I, on the 9th of June, sorry, that the colleges were, were in session. And since from the 9th, the strike came to full force on the 14th, barely a week. There haven't been any reading materials. The required contact hours that are demanded to be met for students to be able to write examinations have equally not been met. So we as students, we will not be able to effectively write the examination should examination come off just today or just when the strike has been called off. And equally, with the academic calendar, we were all praying that we can save the academic calendar. But where we have reached, we have barely less than a month for the colleges to go down. And we are even hearing rumors that Caesar says they would be back from the strike on the 30th. And for the 30th, if they are to be back on 30th of August, that would mean we have barely eight or even nine days left for academic activity. What is quite interesting about this particular action is that the arbiter in this issue, the National Labor Commission, says it has washed off its hands from the demands of the striking teachers following their continuous defiance. Of Osu Asamoah is the executive secretary of the NLC. The only thing NLC will do to get them back to the classroom was to pursue the compliance of the award in court, for which we are in court doing. And then they decided to go on strike to pursue the same compliance. This comes before the court, and the court has directed the call of the strike so that it will proceed to hear the matter. And then they defy the court order. So we are unable to continue with the case until the call of the strike. So until then? 
Until they call off the strike, we are only going to continue the case because we are pursuing the case in court for compliance by the Ministry and Fair Wages and Salaries Commission in the for, for Afghan world. That is the legal course, and that is what the law enjoins us to do. That when we give a directive or an award, and it is so followed, we should go to the High Court and enforce it. So the Commission is in the High Court enforcing it. Then they did declare a strike. The strike has been declared illegal by the Commission, and they were called upon to go back to the classroom whilst we pursue the case in court. They defy the orders of the Commission. We then apply to the court to compel them to go to the classroom whilst we pursue the case in court. And then they defy the orders of the court. So, I mean, having been defiant of the commission and of the court, the court is unable to proceed to hear the case when you have defied these orders. In the same way, the commission has also become helpless because you have defied them. So having defied our orders, we are unable to pursue the case in court. So that is where we are. We will first have to call off the strike, get back to the classroom, and then the case in court will continue. Why wouldn't the commission cite CTAC for contempt? We are not citing them for contempt. They just have to get back to the classroom. It is contempt. What do you get in contempt? Go and put them to prison. Is it a leadership? Is it all of them? I mean, certainly. I mean, uh, I don't know. Well, that's uh, NLC there, the Executive Secretary of Osu Asamoah. This is still top story. We'll do more on that. Well, let's do more uh, on this story by bringing in, uh, uh, you know, persons who matter to the story. Uh, let's speak to Prinkoff President, who is uh, Professor Samuel Atintero. Prof, I'm grateful to you for joining us here. Now, as we speak, can you confirm that the book and resources allowance, as well as other monies demanded by CTAC for the action, has hit the account? Thank you very much. Good evening to your cherished listeners and to my colleagues. Uh, dear staff, uh, that is the CTAC members, the old, old staff. Uh, yes, the ask for the book and research allowance top up, which was paid to them last year, but there was a differential of about thousand, thousand forty cities. Okay. Uh, when we met government team met and print off plus CTAC on July twenty fourth, we signed an MOU which. Uh, require that the government must pay this money by 9th of this month. And I can confirm today that that has hit the accounts, the book and research allowance top up. Mm. Uh, the other issues, per the agreement that we had in July was that the three months, no, the basic salary for um, the all year round work that they did in 2022 should also be paid by the end of this month. That is being processed. We submitted data to GTEC and they have also done same to Minister of Finance. So they are working on it. The biggest issue which has to deal with uh, the NSC awards, which is uh, paying them uh, allowances and salaries that are equivalent to what their qualification would attract if they were in a university. That's, uh, they have to be migrated to get the salary of assistant lecturer. If you have a master's research, and fill. Uh, if you are holding a PhD, then you should be paid a lecture. So that is currently being done. That's the migration itself started on July 29th. They have been working from Monday to Friday till today. There's about two weeks that they have done that. Uh, I think I'm happy to have made significant progress. That's the technical team from Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, GTEC, Minister of Finance, Minister of Education. Uh, per the agreement, CITAC, Prinkoff, and SENSAC, that's the non-teaching uh, staff association of college of education, the technical team is to brief us or give a report, an update about where they have reached. We have been there, and uh, they have finished with the uh, you know, UCC, University of uh, Cape Coast. Some colleges are affiliated to them. They actually have about 14 colleges with them. The staff of uh, the college affiliated to UCC, they are to be migrated along lines of uh, the UCC scheme of service and condition of service. Uh, what it means is that they will have to continue with the rest of the colleges. So for me, uh, CITAC raised the issue that 
they don't trust government. And uh, even the migration that we are seeing is ongoing. is not something that they can believe. Uh, I'm making a passionate appeal to them. We have appealed to them to get back to the classrooms. They must trust the system. And uh, they can come to GTEC next week morning. They climb up to the conference room, Block B, and they'll find this team. Uh, the chair of the committee that is doing that said, they will welcome CTAC members. Uh, that is their rest to come and see what they have done mm. and verify for themselves to know that uh, this time around it is not the case that they are only seeing it, but it's been done. Well, uh, that way, I think we can have mm. build the trust. Mm. But listening to the NLC, uh, they were the ones who gave them the awards. And the problem we have with the CTAC is that if the same people who are seeking to address your issue say that, call of the strike and come back, and then they will, enforce the, uh, they will force the employer to implement, of which the employer have even started, I should think that, once again, I'm appealing to them. Uh, it doesn't help us to be engaged, you know, be out of the classroom and be fighting. Instead, if they are back, we can engage very fruitfully. Mm, but, but, but they, they, they have, they have indicated that. clearly that they do not trust, you know, the employer. Yeah. Uh, aren't there any other ways we could show to them that indeed something is being done than asking them to come to, to GTEC, which of course will be difficult for them to come? No, it wouldn't be difficult. Um, <laughs> you see, which other way? You cannot share personal data of the migration that they are doing. It's mm -hmm. not done. I mean, these are people's salaries, and then before you realize it's in, uh, in there, it is not being done. So the only way out is they have rest. I'm speaking from Accra College of Education. They have their CTAC chair here. At that College of Education, they have their CTAC chair. If you cross over to Eastern Region, PWCA, Presbyterian Women's College of Education, uh, they have their CTAC chair at Cropon. They can ask those people to come. In any case, the leadership of CTAC can even come. They have been coming to Accra to engage with us. That is the only way for them to trust. Because if you even send any information, they can tell you they have only generated this one. It is not happening. Mm -hmm. So my appeal to them is uh, we are per the agreement to come and listen to what they have done. They should come around and then verify. Okay. The other evidence, as I said, the top-up research allowance has been paid. So that's another evidence. So mm -hmm. I think that has been demonstrated sufficiently to them. Okay. Now, the teacher trainees are asking... For, for all the colleges to be closed as a request? I mean, is this a request you would, you would grant? I got their letter this afternoon, and uh, for me, uh, the principal sympathized with them because they've been around for some time and they haven't had classroom teaching, even though they're engaged on uh, their individual peer-to-peer -peer teaching and also uh, personal studies. Um, I don't think that the reason they have raised that we should close down the, the schools, yes, we have received a letter. We'll have to work with GTEC and government to deal with it. Um, I think they also raised an issue which I'm seeing, that 80% of teacher trainees have left their colleges. That cannot be true. I think this is just a guesswork. <laughs> the, the students are still here. If you want, you can come to Accra College. Yesterday, we had uh, the launch of our system of university. You need to be around. We take daily kind of attendance of the students that are around. So, Some have left, but out of the 1,600 or 400 that we hold on, uh, almost about 1,000 are still around. Okay. So you have 1,000 and how many? Uh, about 1,200, 300. I mean, sometimes, because lectures are not on, you see that they leave in the morning to the city, mm -hmm. then in the evening they are back. So students okay. are still around. So so and so, so the undeniable fact is that some, some have gone home because of the strike, right? Uh, uh, but, definitely, even when mm -hmm. the school is in session, mm -hmm. It's a testing institution, so you don't have uh, them always all around. Students okay. will definitely go. Okay. But of course, this action will occasion some people uh, also leaving. But, but, but the majority of them are on the campus. Now, they cite the number of days the strike has, uh, you know, uh, has uh, reached, and they say that this has disrupted the academic calendar. Uh, isn't there reason enough to consider their cause for the schools to be closed? Uh, I think I agree with you. And uh, it isn't as if when the strike started, we are doing nothing about we are engaging and of course our we have trust in each other and believing that they will come back until it dragged to this point so yes um we are concerned about it but i should think that uh, the engagement is still even being done and as you said this evidence attack is asking for which we have i would think that we should be back at some point 
Uh, for me, the issue that what do we do if they come back, the colonel, so the colonel is entirely in the hands of uh, Prinkoff. Mm-hmm. We know how to work around it with Prinkoff, uh, CITAC, and they themselves and uh, GTEC. So, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Stay with me. Let me bring in Ofosu Asama, who is the Executive Secretary of the National Labor Commission. Grateful to you, sir, for joining. Now, uh, you say you are leaving the CITA to their fate, but why are you leaving them to their fate when they are strike is illegal? Hello. Hello, sir. Yes. Yes. Um, oh. I'm, 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 I'm asking why you say that you are washing off your hands from this, uh, the, the, the demands by the striking teachers. When they are strike, in effect, as declared by you, is illegal? No. I did not say we are washing our hands off the uh, case of the striking teachers. Mm. What I'm saying is that mm-hmm. the court has given an order that for the court to proceed with, to hear the case, call off the strike. And they have no, they have not called on the strike. Okay. So the court is unable to, I mean, pursue, I mean, continue to sit on the case. It's simple. Mm. Uh, so, so would you then be minded to go back to court and cite them for contempt of court? Once the case is fit for hearing, we will go. But we haven't considered citing them for contempt. No, the commission has not considered that. Hmm. Well, so so you're saying you you've not considered that you 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 go back to court to cite them for contempt. You see, actually, their mm-hmm. problems have been solved mm-hmm. almost. The transition to become assistant lecturers has been done. The top up has been paid. The last of the series is being done, and then apart from that, the NLC we gave you the award which has not been complied with, is in court fighting for you. So why are you on strike? That is, that is our problem. We fail to find reason for the justification of the strike. Mm. You see, yeah. that is why people are calling, close down the school, close down the school. Why should the schools be closed down? Some of, the, some of their colleagues are teaching. Some of their colleagues are teaching. Some of the go teachers to, are, t- to, are teaching? Yes. You go to a Aguna, is it Aguna SDA or so? It's in full session. Some, and some of their colleagues in other institutions are teaching. And you see, it is not all the students who are in classroom learning. Some of them are doing their teaching practice. So whilst in school, they are not going to the classroom. They just say that they go out to do their practical. So are you going to say that for the few that are in class, for the time they are not there now, the adults, this is a tertiary institution, be able to learn on their own. You should close down the school for everybody to go and sit at home, especially when the problems okay. are almost solved, not even half solved, almost mm. solved. Mm. You see, that is a, is a problem. I fail to, we fail to understand them. But well, anyway, we haven't considered citing them to contempt anyway. But, but so, so at what point in time will the commission decide that enough is enough? We are going to court to compel these people to call out their strike. Well, that is for the commission to decide, and uh, I am not sure. It hasn't come on the table yet. And I just want to find out, at what point in time in this strike, will the commission take that decision, that enough is enough? <laughs> Perhaps you consider, now that you are bringing it up, you consider it at our next meeting. Which is when? Oh, we meet every week, on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Okay. So next week, it will be part of your, your, your itinerary that... I am not assuring you. Mm. I'm saying that perhaps. Okay. Stay, stay with me. Let me bring in uh, Swale Razak, who is president of the Teacher Trainers Association of Ghana. Swale, you've heard from your principals there that, well, it, it, it doesn't look likely that you will get your support for the schools to close down. Yes, um, we are um, requesting... Um, Spring off, and then by extension, um, mini- the, the Minister for Education and then GTEC, considering our what we are going through as students in the colleges of education. Yes, it is true that we still have some students who are uh, in the colleges, whereas we have some colleges, some, some, some students that have left the various campuses um, to their various homes and to other places. We have students who are under security threat on the rise always because students are faced are, are faced to uh, are faced with 
staying in the colleges with no or little supervision from um, the teachers because we don't have our teachers. You, you will bear with me that some of these teachers serve as um, dean of students and then also serve as health tutors in our colleges. These teachers have withdrawn their, serv- their, their services completely from the colleges, leaving mm-hmm. students stranded. Although academic activities is not ongoing, it is not only the academics we are looking at here. Mm-hmm. We're equally looking at the financial implication this has placed on both parents and students alike. Um, ever since is the uh, declaration of this strike on the 14th of June, we have um, been having engaging session with um, direct stakeholders that are um, involved in getting solutions to this prolonged strike. The assurance we keep getting is that the strike will be um, called off any moment soon. The strike will be called any time soon. But we are still not seeing any date. For now, as we are talking, mm. we can't even mention a clear date. So, so, so we when, know when do the you... The strike will be called off. Mm. Leaving students to their own fate. So, so, so when, when are you expecting that authorities will grant your wish for schools to be closed down? We are requesting our... Um, Stakeholders, that is spring of to start taking steps so that um, these colleges will be closed down at the immediate time, as soon as possible. Perhaps okay. If even if it's Monday, we have the colleges closed down. This would grant the students some ample time to go back and prepare both um, psychologically and then financially okay. to come and continue the academic studies. Because okay. even if granted the strike is called off today, we have less than a month, and if you are adding extra weeks to uh, after September 7, for the students to be able to uh, continue their various um, programs or courses. That would mean we are posing uh, extra financial burden to the students okay. because the students have been in the colleges since right, the ninth of okay. June. So I, I, get, I, get, I get your point, Swale. I'm, I'm grateful to you. Let me bring in uh, Peter Nochukoto, who is ranking member on the Education Committee of Parliament. Peter, I, I, I'm grateful to you, Mr. Nochukoto, for joining here. What can the Education Committee do to intervene in this particular impasse to resolve it? Thank you very much, um, and good evening to your listeners. Yes, as a committee, we have taken steps. Let me begin by saying that uh, when the strike began, I raised this matter on the floor of the house. Mm. And the speaker directed that the ministers for education and then employment should appear before the house to tell us what steps they were taking to find a solution to the matter so that uh, the lectures could go back as quickly as possible. Yes, after two weeks they came. But uh, they did not give us any firm assurance or any roadmap that they had developed to make sure that uh, the arbitration awards and then the arrears of uh, book and research allowances were paid to the affected uh, CETAC members. So as a committee, we met again and uh, decided to invite the ministers of Education and Finance and then CETAC so that we could find a solution to the matter. The day we wanted to have the meeting, the Minister of Education informed us that he had also arranged a meeting with CTAC. Mm. So we had to postpone ours. Okay. And the Minister has not even gotten back to us to tell the committee that, oh, we have been able to agree on A, B, C, D. What we learned from CTAC was that the meeting did not end conclusively. So they were still going on their strike. So we have played our role as a a committee and then our report to the house. So that is the situation. Uh, for several weeks now, they have been on strike, and it is no good for the students. I listen to the students mm. talking, and I think uh, it is very bad for, for for them. But once he has not gotten back to you, the strike is still ongoing. The students are reeling from the impact. What will the committee do? Will you just say, okay, we've tried our best, and that's it? Well, you see. Uh, about a year and so ago, the same CITAC went on strike. And the education committee, we impressed upon them. And they went back to each. And this year, the same issue. So we are finding it very difficult to have that moral courage again to appeal to them to go back to the classroom. Because we feel that uh, as a government, uh, the NRC and the Fair Wages Commission have ruled 
against you. That pay them A, B, C, D. Just do it and then let them go back to the class. We spoke with them and the migration issue, we said we could do it gradually. And we agreed that, oh, let's uh, take care of the arrears and the arbitration award. When that is done, then after the migration, it's, it's a process that we have to be careful to do. Uh, yes. And mm -hmm. the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Finance, don't seem to be concerned. That is how I see it. They don't okay. want to be concerned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if it was any other uh, organization or union, I'm sure by now they would have done it. Because this morning, the, uh, the three unions in the university, mm -hmm. they have agreed to pay them their uh, allowances from January. And they have called off their strike. So, Why don't so, you do the same? So, no, so, I, 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 so, so are you going to invite the ministers again or you think enough is, is, is enough? You've tried your best. Well, parliament is not on recess. Mm -hmm. And myself and the chairman, we... Uh, we met and spoke about it today and uh, we said we should meet on Monday and see what uh, we can do as a, a committee. So definitely we are going to invite them next week to see what uh, we can do about it. Okay, all right. Uh, grateful to you. Mr. Fusua Samoa is still with me. Mr. Fusua Samoa, so uh, is the commission having any plans of probably trying once again to call the teachers next week to, to the table for, for negotiations? Well, at the moment there is nothing to negotiate. Mm. There's nothing they would to, 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 to get to get them to call on their strike. There has been an mm. arbitration, mm -hmm. and after the arbitration, award at the arbitration is final, and that it is for the parties to comply. One party has failed to comply, mm. and the law enjoins National Labour Commission to go to the court mm. and enforce the non-compliance of the award, and that is what we are in court doing, right? And that is what um, CETA. It's frustrating as to their strike. I'm grateful to you, Mr. Fosasama, for joining us here. Uh, that's been a top story. You heard uh, Mr. Fosasama, who is the Executive Secretary for the National Labor Commission. Swale Razak is President, Teacher Trainees Association of Ghana, and Peter Nochu Koto, Ranking Member on the Education Committee. Earlier, he heard from Professor Samuel Atintono, who is Sprinkoff President. Up next is Ghana Connect. Good evening.